like not having too many listeners to your music? How do you bounce back from those? I used to. When you first start out, um, when you first start out, that's all you think about. You first start out, maybe record your third song. You play it for the homies. You play it for whoever you playing it for. And everybody love it, like, loves it. You like, we finna blow with this shit. I remember, I think I was even saying not about Smoke, but Smoke wasn't even the, but, um, at first, I remember when I, I first dropped, I don't remember what song it was or something like that, but niggas just wasn't paying attention. They didn't care. And I'm like, niggas sleep, niggas this, and you checking for everything. But what that leads to is the people like your peers, like your peers that's actually doing it, that's doing better than you. Then you start comparing. And as everybody says, comparison is the thief of joy. Once you start comparing yourself to some, that that nigga Eli? Anyway, once you start, <laughs> once you start comparing yourself to other people, or people that's doing it, then you just get discouraged. Like, damn, why isn't niggas fucking with me like how they fucking with them? Then you find yourself. I'm speaking about myself. That is, but then you find yourself trying to, um, trying to do the shit they do. And because they did it and they were successful, it's gonna work for you. And then you do that shit and then you fucked up. And then it's just like. Going on some Hollywood shit, bruh. But. You start, you just start comparing yourself to other people and what they're doing. And then you just end up in a deeper hole because now you're not doing it for yourself and for the passion. You're doing it because of other people's reactions. I think that's really the point I was trying to make. But yeah, like when when you focus on the numbers and you focus on like you not getting enough, you got to shake back from that because once you start gearing your uh, attention and what gets the streams, how you get the streams, then you lead towards gimmicks and doing all that bullshit. You lose that passion and you lose that love. The, the love and the passion should be the first thing that you're thinking about. Do this shit because you love it. Do what you want to do, how you want to do it. And the people that's going to gravitate to it, going to gravitate to it. All that marketing shit and all that bull other bullshit come into play later. But it's just like, you can't focus on that. So my answer to your question, I ain't even, I, I be bullshitting. But the answer to your question is like, hell yeah, you get discouraged. you Because you just like, I feel like I'm better than this. And nobody's paying attention to me and I must got to make something that motherfuckers like for them to take me serious. But you don't got to do all that. It's all about time and patience, perfecting shit. And you you start to learn the balance. I mean, you could start to do, you could do what you think people will fuck with, but at the same time, keeping it authentic and keeping it true to yourself. But with the music, with the music, with anything really, it's all a learning process. So you got to give yourself time. Don't just come in this bitch thinking you about to be the greatest motherfucker ever because you felt like you have the greatest song. Like, it don't work like that, unfortunately. But if you patient and you put in the work, bro, it's the, it, what you water is going to feed you. Whatever you water is going to feed you. So with that, I, I seen that shit on Instagram. I be stealing Instagram quotes to be acting like I'm wise as hell. But yeah, it, it's discouraging, but you just got to keep working and and always put the passion and the love for whatever you're doing first, and you'll get it eventually. What's your aim? What's your goal? Okay. What you want? What you want? What you want? What you want? What's your goal? I got what you need. 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 Yeah, that's rocking. A lot. A lot. Watch this. What you want? Got the, got the, what you want? What you want? What you want? Hey, hey. 
I got what you need. 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 I low key think I was a little off. Like I said, you could fix that shit later. I ain't gonna leave y'all niggas out the loop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put the the song in here. Matter of fact, let them niggas hear that shit right now. What you want? Got the smoke? Got the drove? What you want? What you want? We can do it on the low. What you want? What's your aim? What's your goal? Come on, baby, let me meet your goals. I got what you need. I'm a legend, baby, superstar. Need. Tell them they gon' have to raise the bar. Need. What you want? Girl, I got what you need. How do you feel when family members or people close to you try to hold you back in your goals? And how do you deal with that? Shit, I'm dealing with that right now, but that's one thing I was going to say about the um, purpose part. Like, I'm going to teach niggas how to be selfish because you got to be selfish. And I'm not I'm not a selfish person at all. I always think about everybody else before I think about myself, but I ain't going to get long with it. To answer the question, um, you just got to you got to understand understand what matters to you or did I say that right you gotta you just gotta um you gotta prioritize whatever like if you got if you got a goal and you want to achieve it bro like you have you have to block all that other bullshit out bro because at the end of the day you could say this person made you stop doing this this person made you stop doing that but at the end of the day the only person holding you back is yourself like no matter what if you quit that's because of you it's not because of them you let the pressure feed into you so you quit you can't you can't you gotta you gotta block out all that negativity if you believe in yourself and you believe in yourself wholeheartedly you are going to do it and you're going you're not gonna let nobody stop you the moment you lose belief in yourself is when you let all the other voices control you and you just gonna shift off and you're gonna live a life of what ifs i don't never want to live a life of what ifs that's fuck. that's a fucked up life to live because somebody told you that's not the right way or you gotta then prove them wrong do what the fuck you believe in don't don't let other people dictate your life they not going in the motherfucking grave with you that's that so yeah don't let nobody discourage you it don't matter if it's your mama bruh your mama can sit there cry on your face and tell you you came out her womb but at the end of the day you know better than she do it's you not her and that's me saying that out loud sounds fucked up to me like i would never tell nobody that but you gotta live like you have to live for yourself you gotta be selfish the moment you live you let somebody else live through you you gonna feel you gonna feel empty do it for yourself don't do it for nobody else don't do it for nobody else approval either like don't be doing shit just to that's the same point though don't be trying to do shit for other people do it for you nigga because the moment you do it for somebody else you already lost it's gonna be exposed. People see through bullshit. It don't. It don't matter if it takes two months. It don't matter if it take thirty years. Niggas will eventually see through the bullshit. Do it for you and be authentic to yourself. Stay true to self. No Bryson Tiller. I want to show y'all this groove because I'm just starting. I'm on Ableton, but the latency, so you can't feel me though. And I'm trying to let y'all hear, but you ain't gonna feel me. I got this loop going on here. Person. If somebody had the audacity to name their kid, uh, what the fuck was I saying? If anybody has 
the audacity to name their kid latency. Use a bitch. But low key, that sounds like a good name. Fuck it. Where do you see yourself in five years? With a rollie? Nah. Uh five years. Top of the game. At least um on some new school shit like be a leader of the new school, bring in back real shit. Not saying that's not real shit now, but I'm just bringing it back to the forefront and give people a good feeling about hip hop specifically, because that's what I, I want to keep the torch lit in hip hop. Because that's important to me, the music I grew up on and the music I study is from all the people we consider great and to keep that legacy alive. I don't want this shit to go like how a rock music going there, like how certain genres die out. I think hip hop and the true essence of it is so important that niggas, it gotta be niggas to survive. I hope I could just be some type of new, new light to that same essence, that same old and true essence, but bring a new flavor to it and expand it and inspire others to do the same, really. I mean, I, I think all the greats, when they came in the game, it was like they came with their style and they shifted the whole shit and everybody followed suit. So me being able to do that, that's going to be great for hip hop, I guess. Great for music. I hope to touch all areas, but hip hop specifically, I, I'm going to be on. I'm, I expect to be on the top of the game. Hopefully my work speak for it, but five years on top of the game and doing this shit on a higher level than I already am. One thing though, like I will say, is like, I, I love, I love recording alone. Like, I love it just being completely me. No mic, no engineer, none of the homies, none of that. Cause like, I be, I, like me in the studio, I be self-conscious as hell. Like I be like, I be making a song. I really don't care deep inside, but like in the moment I'll be rapping or doing whatever I'm doing. Like, no niggas not feeling that. Cause, Bro, when you're not the one recording in the booth and shit like that, like, you get bored quick. Because you hear the niggas doing the same shit over, especially me, bro. My niggas could vouch it. Ask anybody who know me, bro. If you in the session with me, bro, I'm going to do the same take over and 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 over. That was corny as hell. But, yeah, um... It's a whole lot of shit that I, I that be going through my head when I'm with a whole bunch of people. Now, granted, though, if it's like the right people, if I'm in a session with the right people, not saying there's any wrong people in the booth, but like if it's people, you know, like we hopping on the shit together, some shit like I love thriving off the energy. That's one thing that like I'm not able to recreate on my own, like that energy, like where it's like y'all niggas, y'all rocking, you, you getting the groove, the beat hitting and you. You freestyling, yeah, nigga. I got a bag full of sacks in my rapping, and you and niggas going crazy. Like, ah, oh, now I'm about to write this shit. You in the booth, and niggas going crazy in that bitch. And you like, nigga, what, nigga, what, nigga? But, <laughs> nigga, I'm lit as hell. I don't know why I just did all that. But yeah, like that's fun. I love that. Like, don't get me wrong. It, everything got its pros and cons. But for me, I'm able to focus and become more creative without feeling judged. You know, because at, at the end of the day, no matter what artist says, artists are self-conscious, artists are insecure. Like, it, it, it's, it's a part of being an artist. You can't be an artist and not feel those things, you know what I'm saying? So for me personally, I like being alone. And then, like, when I feel it's ready, we get to that part where niggas, you know, mix or do whatever, or critique it. And that one I could take to the chest more because it's like, okay, I did everything I could do with me feeling like my best. And like now, if you're not feeling this, now let's go back into the shit and let's change it. But yeah, bro, that that that's really it. I, if you could relate, you could relate because this shit apply to everything. Like people, like you know what I'm saying. Sometimes you just like being alone. Like, be comfortable with being by yourself. That's one thing that I I I, I love that it was never a challenge for me. Like if I'm not out with the home, like of course my nigga, you gonna have times where you sitting there like, damn, I wish I was with my homies. Like we was lit as hell, but. I mean, for the most part, you by yourself, nigga, 
you you put on some music, you eat some good food, you watch a, a, a funny a funny TV show and shit, like you're gonna be straight, bro. Remember, like the purpose, like like how I say or how I'm going to say every video, I don't know when this is gonna fall in, but it's just like nigga like we we not we don't wanna feel trapped at all. We breaking free. We showing everybody that we could beat the odds and we can overcome any obstacle as trapped as we feel. And that starts with you. That starts with them. This is like cliche, common shit that's always said, but it's, it's mad true. Like, you, um, yeah. By the way, my nigga, let me just clear this shit up because niggas say that I, niggas say that I be signing New York and shit, which I don't believe, but niggas say it. Maybe because I have some homies here and there that's from, but like, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, my nigga. Like, if we really got to get country in this shit, we'll get country in it. Like, for real. Like, nigga, I'm tired of y'all niggas doing that. I'm from the South, my nigga. I'm from the South. I'm breed of fucking outcast and ghetto boys and goddamn T.I. and Gucci, man. Like, I'm from the South, baby. The fuck? What advice do you have for up-and-coming rappers, singers, songwriters that are in your same predicament? I'm an up and coming rapper. Uh, nigga, just first and foremost, don't try to cheat the motherfucking game. <laughs> don't try to cheat the motherfucking game at all. Don't try to think you about to have an overnight. Sleep. I mean, you can, but what comes fast leaves fast. So, don't try to cheat the game. Try. Try to drag this shit out as long as you can and really perfect it and, and take all the losses, take all the losses to heart and keep grinding. First, so first and foremost, work hard every single day. I work everybody and, and study this shit, study what you like, study the game, like study the grace before you study what's going on now. Be a listener before you, before you talking. We got two ears and one mouth, so move accordingly. But yeah, that's really, 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 really work, 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 work hard, bruh. It's just like anything else. Don't think rap is any different. Rap is just like basketball, nigga. If you want to be ill, if you want to be crossing niggas and stepping back from half court and cashing that bitch, you have to be in the gym every single day. It's no different from rap. You got to be sharpening your, sharpening your pen every single day. There's no days off. You sharpen that bitch. Don't forget to live life either. Be authentic in your shit. Don't fake nothing. Don't lie. I told you niggas gonna feel that and they're gonna see through that bullshit. And have fun. Don't forget to have fun. Like niggas, some niggas like on like the lyrical side of shit take this shit way too serious. Don't get me wrong. I take this bitch mad serious, but I don't forget to have fun. Like if you if you don't have fun, fun just go with the passion. Don't lose I be talking too goddamn much. Don't lose the motherfucking passion. Don't lose the passion. Stay true to this shit. And but yeah, don't lose the passion, my nigga. I always love what you're doing. The moment you don't love it, go live life because you might just be tripping. Go live life, go outside, be present in the moment. Don't think too much about the future. Don't let the past fuck you up. Live life. That's that. What? Oh, yeah. 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 Come on. Oh my God, this is hard. Hey, 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 hey.